and amazing things are being discovered around the globe on a daily basis, there are surprises awaiting scientists wherever they go. All sorts of mind-boggling creatures, historic relics, remnants of tragedy, and hidden natural wonders are found preserved in bizarre places. Ice is an incredibly effective preservation medium, and the frozen landscapes around the world are therefore hiding many unfathomable secrets. Over the years, many strange and unexplainable things have been discovered in the frozen tundras of our planet that have completely changed our perception of history and science. How exactly has the ice managed to perfectly preserve creatures that lived thousands of years ago? And artifacts belonging to civilizations we know very little about is a mystery that remains unsolved even today. There's no logical justification as to why some things stayed intact in their original form under the layers of ice, while others simply vanished from the face of the earth. But archaeologists and scientists have unearthed such things in terrain so cold, barely any form of life manages to survive there. Today, we're going to tell you all about some of the most shocking things discovered frozen in ice, so make sure you stick around till the end. Number 1. Siberian Ice Maiden This mummy of a woman from the 5th century is also known as the Princess of Ukok, the Altai Princess, Devochka, and Ochibala. She was discovered in a kurgan off the Pazarek culture in the Republic of Altai, Russia. The Ice Maiden was discovered by archaeologist Natalia Viktorovna Polosmak and her team while exploring a group of kurgans in a strip of disputed territory between China and Russia. Her burial chamber was found on the Yukok Plateau in the summer of 1993. The locals often call this area the second layer of heaven. The maiden is considered a representative of the Pazrit culture that thrived between the 6th and 2nd centuries BCE. And her remains were found in a subterranean burial chamber that looked undisturbed. In 2012, the remains of the Ice Maiden were moved to a special mausoleum at the Republican National Museum of Gorno Altask, and there was a coffin made of solid larch wood tree trunk inside her tomb chamber. It was decorated with leather appliques depicting deer like figures. According to experts, she was between 20 and 30 years old at the time of her death. Initially, the cause of her death wasn't known, but in 2014, new research would reveal that breast cancer along with some injuries she sustained due to a fall would lead to her demise. Cannabis was discovered in a container next to the body, and this led scientists to speculate that it was used to relieve the chronic pain that she must have suffered. Tattoos that looked a lot like deers and panthers would be found on the skin of her shoulder, wrist, and thumb, and she was buried in a yellow silk tusa blouse, a red and white striped woolen shirt with a tassel belt, thigh-high white felt leggings, a marten fur, and a three feet tall headdress. Remains of two other warriors with similar tattoos would also be found near her tomb chamber. Some people believe that these tattoos were a sign of status in life and the afterlife, and the chamber had been preserved by the water that seeped in and froze to form a huge block of ice, and that chamber never completely thawed and thereby kept the contents of this burial preserved for more than 2,400 years. Number two. Plane Crash Victims Back in 1976, a SETA Flight 232 traveling out of Ecuador was reported missing. The plane was operated by Vickers Viscount 78D5, carrying 55 passengers and four crew members. The routes considered quite dangerous owing to the snow-capped Mount Chimborazo, and the crash site would be found in October of 2002 at a height of 5,310 meters. At the time, everyone on board the plane was presumed dead. Those who didn't die went missing, and nearly 30 years after the crash, the plane's wreckage was accidentally discovered by two mountain climbers. Pablo Chiquiza and Flavio Armas were just exploring a new route to the summit of the Chimborazo volcano when they noticed the remains of the plane. The discovery wasn't confirmed until February of 2003 when a television network team climbed the volcano in hopes of recording footage of the wreckage. Few members of this team noticed a lot of human remains amongst the debris, along with newspapers from the day that the plane had vanished. They also found proof of identification for almost all of the passengers on board, and this was a bittersweet discovery owing to the fact that the passengers died in a horrible way, and ones who had survived the crash probably suffered here alone in the snow 
before they fell victim to the weather. But this also meant that family and friends of the unfortunate travelers finally got some answers and closure, though nothing can truly lessen the pain of losing their loved ones. Number 3. Ice Age Bison Back in 1979, researchers would discover the mummified body of a steppe bison in the Alaskan tundra. The interesting thing is that, shortly after, they sliced off some meat from its neck and then devoured it. What they didn't know at the time was that this was no ordinary bison. It was actually almost 55,000 years old. The bison was probably mauled by a predator. The claw marks on the rear of the carcass and tooth punctures in the skin would suggest that it was killed by an Ice Age American lion, and fortunately the permafrost had preserved the body and kept it from becoming food for smaller creatures. The behemoth mass remained undisturbed for more than 55,000 years, that was until finally a group of explorers ventured out to a mine in 1979. They used a hydraulic mining hose to melt the ice until they found this body. The skeleton, skin, and muscles were perfectly preserved. Dale Guthrie, who led the excavation, sliced off a part from the neck and hosted a dinner party that served the ancient meat to eight people. Dale was the one who named the bison Blue Babe, and several years after its discovery, a taxidermist from Finland transferred the body to Fairbanks and restored the specimen for exhibit. Number 4. An Arrow from the Iron Age Researchers with the Secrets of Ice Glacier Archaeology program of the Norwegian county Inlandet discovered an arrow nestled between rocks. The team thinks that it was frozen in a block of ice and then transported down the slope when the ice melted. The Secrets of Ice shared a Facebook post which described the features of the arrow. The preservation of the artifact was remarkable but not entirely perfect. Sinu and Tar gluing the various parts of the arrow together showed visible signs of wear and tear. This made the scientists speculate that the arrow may have actually been exposed and then refrozen multiple times before it got lost. An archaeologist with the team would explain that, so far, they had found more than 200 arrows that had melted out of the ice in that county. According to him, these arrows are at least 6,000 years old. This particular one is better preserved with the arrowhead still attached and remnants of sinew and pitch also present on it. Most other arrows that they had discovered were preserved with just the fragments of their shafts remaining. The researchers believe the abundance of arrows can be attributed to the fact that this area was a hunting site. The arrows that missed the deer got lost in the snow, and for ancient hunters it may have been a missed shot, but for modern archaeologists it was a bullseye. Number 5. Yucca the Mammoth Yucca is considered to be the best preserved woolly mammoth carcass that was ever found. It was discovered in 2010 by local Siberian tusk hunters and was found around 30 kilometers west from the mouth of Kondrativo River along the Ayogos Yar coast in the region of Laptev Sea. Yucca is a juvenile female mummy and was named after the village of Yukagur, where she was found by the locals. The mammoth mummy is approximately 39,000 years old, and an analysis of her Tuscan teeth would reveal that she was about 6 to 8 years old at the time of her death. Experts believe the mammoth had fallen into water or gotten bogged down in a swamp. The poor thing was unable to free herself and then perished. However, some people have speculated that she was actually attacked by lions or other predators. Yuka immediately became an international sensation and scientists across the world were super excited to learn more about her. P. Lazarev and S. Grigarev from the Mammoth Museum were the first scientists who arrived to study these remains. The remains were then later transported to the Saka Academy of Sciences in Yakutsk, and Yuka has been on display in Moscow since October of 2014. In 2019, researchers from Japan, working with Yuka's tissue, would reveal that they had managed to stimulate nucleus-like structures to perform some biological processes but could not induce cell division. Number 6. Bedeloid Rotifiers Scientists in Russia have successfully managed to revive a unique species of animals from the prolonged slumber. They've remained frozen in the Arctic permafrost for more than 24,000 years. These microscopic invertebrates typically live in watery environments and are incredibly well-versed in the art of survival. Russian scientists first discovered them in a core of frozen soil 
that they had obtained from drilling into the Siberian permafrost with the help of a drilling rig. This discovery is proof that multicellular animals are capable of withstanding tens of thousands of years of cryptobiosis, a state of almost entirely arrested metabolism. Previously, it was believed that frozen rotifiers could survive for up to 10 years, but the latest radiocarbon analysis would reveal that the rotifiers they had found were at least 24,000 years old. These are also called wheel animals, sometimes because of the ring of tiny hairs that surround their mouths that look like a wheel. These sturdy creatures can survive freezing temperatures, extreme dry spells, low oxygen, and starvation. And once it was thawed, the rotifer obtained from the permafrost was reproduced by a clonal process called parthenogenesis. It belongs to the genus Aldineta, and some conspiracy theorists out there are concerned whether resurrecting this animal was a good idea or not. What do you think, though? Number 7. Frozen Bear and Its Cub Scientists found a perfectly preserved cave bear and a bear cub frozen in a wall of ice in Siberia. Analysis of the specimen has revealed that it's at least 39,000 years old. Previously, only the bones of prehistoric species and subspecies from Eurasia had been unearthed. The two bears were found on separate dig sites, and the remains were first discovered by reindeer herders on a remote island in 2020. Analysis would reveal that the soft tissue of the adult bear had been preserved for tens of thousands of years in the permafrost, and Russian scientists are optimistic that sooner or later they'll be able to find DNA of the Ice Age predator. They're probably hoping to revive the animal like they're trying to do with the woolly mammoth. One scientist's opinion is that this is the first and only find of its kind, a whole bear carcass with soft tissues. And she isn't wrong. The carcass is unbelievably intact, with all of the organs in their place. The photographs show that even the bear's nose is intact, and the specimens would be transported to Russia's Northeastern Federal University for further analysis. Number 8. Mammoth Tusk Glaciers The thawing Russian permafrost has caused what experts are now calling the Mammoth Gold Rush. Remains of ancient mammoths, especially their valuable tusks, are being discovered in this remote region of Russia. The tusks are particularly worth a fortune around the world, and the trade of these mammoth remains is not regulated as of yet, and so searching for and selling these tusks is completely legal in Russia. Climate change is rapidly revealing these relics, and the hunters who dig them up are selling them for thousands of dollars, thereby inspiring a bustling trade. Teams head up to the region every year to dig up the remains of the woolly mammoths who are hiding underneath the permafrost. They sleep in makeshift tents and survive on beef, noodles, and of course vodka. This is an illegal operation, however, because they rip out the mammoth bodies from the permafrost using brute force. A lot of the bodies are then damaged in the process, and in their greed for the hefty payouts, these people dig out the tusks from the skeletons, but in the process, destroy the evidence of past life on Earth. Number 9. Andre Expedition Quite a few historic expeditions that set out to explore the farthest corners of the Earth have ended up disappearing. Some of them were never seen or heard from again. Andre's Arctic Balloon Expedition was considered one of these, up until 1930, when the Norwegian Bratvag expedition studying the glaciers and seas of the Svalbard archipelago found its remains. The particularly warm summer would allow them to land on the inaccessible island called the Kovisha. The thick ice covering the island and surrounding fog would make it impossible for ships at that time to access it. But the fortunate members of the Bratvag expedition found the remains of the 1897 balloon expedition under the ice and snow. It was a hydrogen balloon voyage launched with the intention of reaching the North Pole, and the three team members who had been on that Swedish expedition all perished. The balloon crashed only two days after taking off, but the crew remained safe. However, they were also faced with a grueling trek back south, and because they were not adequately equipped or clothed, they didn't survive the harsh terrain and what it brought to them. The modern explorers found the ship and a journal, along with two skeletons, which the ice had preserved. Number 10. George Mallory George Herbert Lee Mallory was an accomplished English mountaineer who took part in the first three British expeditions to Mount Everest back in the 1920s. 
In the 1924 expedition of the monstrous peak, George and his partner Andrew Irvine mysteriously disappeared on the northeast ridge. They would be last sighted about 800 vertical feet from the summit, and no one knew what had happened to the pair, and their fate remained a mystery for a good 75 years. But then, on the 1st of May in 1999, the world woke up to shocking news. Mallory's body had been discovered by a research expedition that had set out to recover the climber's remains. Conrad Anker of the Mallory and Irvine Research Expedition spotted a frozen body at a height of around 26,760 feet on the north face of the mountain. It was below the point where Irvine's axe had been discovered in 1936, and that's probably why the team thought that it belonged to Irvine. However, when they read the name tags on the body, they were surprised to find out it was actually Mallory. The body was well preserved in the ice, and some personal belongings found on it included a brass altimeter, a stag handled lamb's foot pocket knife with leather slipcase, a pair of snow goggles, and a letter and a bill from a London supplier of climbing equipment was also found within his clothing. The research team returned back to the site in 2002, discovering their last campsite as well, but failed to find the camera that they were carrying for taking pictures. Mallory is considered a legend in the world of mountaineers, and Sir Edmund Hillary, who, along with Tenzing Norgay, is credited with reaching the Everest summit first, has aptly said that Mallory was really the initial pioneer of the whole idea of climbing Mount Everest. Number 11. Antarctic King The Antarctic King is an iguana-sized ancestor of dinosaurs and modern-day crocodiles. Scientists revealed in the study published in the Journal of Vertebrate Paleontology that they discovered an almost 250 million year old fossil of this dinosaur ancestor in the Antarctic ice. The second part of its name is a tribute to Ernest Shackleton, a 20th century explorer who named the rock formation in the Transantarctic Mountains of Antarctica from where the species was first excavated. The rock is called Fremau Formation and it was the place where Brandon Peacock found the preserved fossil during his Antarctic expedition between 2010 and 2011. This creature lived during the early Triassic period, just before the end Permian mass extinction event that wiped out 70% of Earth's population. It belonged to the Archosaur reptile group that thrived following the devastating mass extinction, and paleontologists find it fascinating that these creatures blossomed while the rest of the species inhabiting the Earth quite literally dropped dead. The unearthed bones of this creature include vertebrae, leg and feet bones, and ribs. Researchers are confident that it was a carnivore and lived when Antarctica was still connected to the Pangaea, the supercontinent. Number 12. Mexican Climbers Back in 1959, a group of seven Mexican climbers set out to climb Mount Pico de Orizaba, the highest peak in Mexico. However, the group disappeared after an unexpected avalanche hit them. In 2015, a group of unsuspecting climbers discovered a frozen head poking out from the snow covering the glacier close to the summit. Soon afterwards, archaeologists reached the site to conduct a thorough investigation, and they were able to recover two mummified bodies that were embracing each other. Experts believe that they had assumed this position for warmth, a special container would be used to safely transport the bodies from the snow, and besides the two recovered corpses, Another climber was also killed in the avalanche, whose body is yet to be discovered. The remaining four members of the expedition had safely returned after they were unable to locate their companions back in the day. One of the climbers, named Luis Espinosa, who returned alive from the mountain, believes that the bodies definitely belong to his lost friends. Number 13. The Incredible Seed Vault the Svalbard Global Seed Vault is a secure backup facility located on the Norwegian island of Spitsbergen. The purpose of this vault is to preserve the crop diversity of our planet. It provides a long-term storage of duplicates of seeds preserved in gene banks around the world. It ensures the security of the world's food supply against the loss of seeds due to various reasons like mismanagement, accidents, equipment failure, funding cuts, war, disease, sabotage, and natural disasters. 
The terms for this management of the vault were spelled out in an agreement among the Norwegian government, the Crop Trust, and the Nordic Genetic Resource Center. The construction of the vault was almost exclusively funded by Norwegian government. Back in 2008, it was built at a cost of a whopping $8.8 .8 million. The operational costs are shared by Norway and the Crop Trust, and the storing of seeds here is free for depositors. The seed bank is built around 120 meters inside a sandstone mountain on the Spitzenberg Island, and the security system of the facility is quite robust and advanced. The Nordic Genetic Resource Center is responsible for its management, but it doesn't have any permanent on-site staff. The Spitzenberg Island would be chosen to build this facility on, as it experiences no tectonic activity, and the permafrost here helps to preserve the seeds deep within. The site will remain even if the ice caps melt, as it's about 130 meters above sea level. The feasibility study was conducted prior to the construction of the vault, and it would be found that most major food crop seeds could be preserved here for hundreds of years. Some grains can even remain viable for up to thousands of years, and this vault can save the human race from starvation in the case of any natural calamity or accident that might threaten the food supply of our species. Number 14. Forest Under a Glacier An ancient forest has thawed from under a melting Alaskan glacier, and its trees are finally seeing the light of day in about 1,000 years. Logs and stumps have been protruding from the Mindenhall Glacier, located in southern Alaska. The researchers at the University of Alaska Southeast in Juneau have been noticing more and more trees popping up, some in their original upright position. Others still bear roots and some parts of the bark as well. Scientists are also excited as they're able to see the outermost part of the tree and count back to see how old that it was when it froze. The team has identified the trees as either spruce or hemlock based on the trunk diameters, and Kathy Connor, a geology professor at the University of Alaska Southeast, believes that a protective tomb of gravel encased the trees more than a thousand years ago when the glacier was advancing. The gravel layer was around four to five feet high and apparently encased the trees before the glaciers ultimately advanced and plowed them over. Number 15. Lake Vostok An ice-covered freshwater lake would be discovered in 1996 with the help of ice-penetrating radar and artificial seismic waves. Lake Vostok lies about four kilometers beneath the East Antarctic ice sheet and it's also the oldest, most pristine lake in the world that hasn't been disturbed by humankind as of yet. It's one of the 70 lakes that have been identified underneath the Antarctic ice sheet. It remained isolated for more than 500,000 years and potentially contains microorganisms with a unique gene pool that has remained unchanged from the time that Antarctica was covered by lush green forests. It's also one of the world's largest lakes Lake Vostok is 48 kilometers wide and 235 kilometers long, covering an area of more than 10,000 square kilometers and is 914 meters deep. Currently, the lake is a long-term target for exploration through sampling and in situ experiments, but many experts believe that the pristine waters of Lake Vostok should remain untouched so that humanity or science doesn't ruin this natural wonder. Do you think that scientists should be allowed to access the lake and the life forms hiding in its depth? Tell us all about it in the comments down below.